All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. Did you notice that I used three different kinds of chords in the beginning of Leaving on a Jet Plane? I played open chords, and then I played bar chords, and then I played power chords. So in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between all those kinds of chords as well as give you some examples of the chords. If you want to know some songs where you use those different kinds of chords, I'll put some links underneath here so that you can try them out. First, let's look at open chords. Open chords are the chords that beginners often start with and they're usually played at this end of the guitar and they use open strings as part of the chord. So you can see here's the G and I'm not pressing down the second, third, and fourth uh, string, so that makes it an open chord. C, D. Occasionally you'll come across a chord we call an open chord, but really I'm pressing them all down, like here's an F. But that's kind of splitting hairs. It's still kind of considered in the family of open chords. These chords are really great for uh, all kinds of songs. So, you know, even if you're not a beginner anymore, you can still use them for all kinds of singer songwriter, pop, country, you know, it's a really versatile style of chord. The next one that I want to show you are bar chords. These chords that I played in that section. A bar chord is kind of like, oh, actually it is, using an open chord but barring it up the neck using your index finger like a capo. So for instance, here is an E form. Now I'm going to make an E chord but I'm using my second, third, and fourth fingers, right? So there's an E. Now, if I move it all up one, and put my finger all the way across like a capo, that's an F. Two frets up, G, two more frets, that's an A. And see, this shape stays the same. Okay, the only thing that's moving is up the neck. Um, the other uh, bar chord that I showed you in the very beginning was an A form. So here's the A. Now if I move it up here, that's a B. This one's a little trickier because you have to bend your finger here, but you can see that A shape. I'm pressing down the second, third, and fourth string, and I'm putting my finger across. This time, it only needs to go up to the fifth string for this particular form. And again, as I move it up the neck, it changes name. So here we have a B, C, D, and you can do that for minor and seventh chords too. Here's a chart that shows you how that works. Bar chords are really great because if you haven't memorized a particular chord and all of a sudden you're playing a song and you see an F sharp and you think, well, heck, I don't know where an F sharp is. Well, actually you do. If you know how to do a bar F, if you just move it up one, there's your F sharp. How cool is that? So you can do that kind of thing on the fly uh, if you practice. Everybody's afraid of bar chords, but like everything else, if you practice it and have a good attitude, you'll get it. And here's a subset. I call these partial bar, and uh, that would be the F-sharp minor, which you see in a lot of songs. And the only bar I'm doing is the bottom three strings here on the second fret, and then I'm skipping a fret, and then this finger goes up here. movable too. Here's the G minor, A minor, and you can move up. Um, a B is also a partial bar, and here's your partial bar, the second, third, and fourth strings. And you can move that up the neck too. So the other kinds of chord that I want to talk about are power chords. Power chords are usually used in uh, rock Sometimes in anything you want a rock feel for, like um, a lot of blues music sometimes has power chords. Bro country has power chords because they want to 
be big and tough, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, power chords are interesting in that it only includes three strings. And that's how you get that sort of bass heavy sound that you hear in a lot of rock riffs, right? So, Smells Like Teen Spirit just wouldn't be the same in open chords. <laughs> Um, wild Thing sounds really great with power chords. Wild Thing You make my heart sing You make everything groovy <laughs> Wild Thing See if I play that with open chords, it, it would work, but it would sound different. Wild Thing I hit the wrong chord there, but you get the idea. It just doesn't sound quite the same. So what a power chord is, is if you were going to do a bar chord and only play the top three strings, that's a power chord. So for instance, this is an F bar chord, but if I only play the top three, then I don't really need to press down these bottom three strings. So I'm going to lift up my fingers here, and I'm only playing the top three strings. And I'll show you a chord diagram in just a minute. So that's a G, and you, it's movable too. A, B, C, D. It's very cool. So that is a six bass uh, power chord. You can also move it back, down rather, down towards the floor, and that is a five bass power chord. So here's a C, D, E. See how that works? So here's a chart with some power chords. So explore these different kinds of chords. If there is a song that you usually use open chords on, see if you can substitute uh, bar chords or partial bar. Or if you're playing a rock tune with power chords, what does it sound like with open chords? Maybe it sounds, you know, different and cool and maybe everybody will hire your band now because you do that cool version of Smells Like Teen Spirit with open chords. I don't know. Um, but it's good to know all those different kinds of chords. And if you want to know songs where you can use these different chords, once again, I have some lessons posted underneath here. Just click on those and you'll find out more. Please subscribe. There's the red button in the corner. Hit the notification bell. Check out my other lessons. I have over 500 lessons for mandolin, ukulele, and guitar for beginning and intermediate players. I've got some special um, playlists where I focus on how to play the blues, how to play campfire songs, stuff like that. So uh, check out my YouTube page and find out more about that. If you want to support what I do, you can buy me a coffee. It's only three dollars. I'll include the link here somewhere. And if you want to know more about my um, original music, it's at jamieanderson.com. Thank you so much for tuning in.